actually the book originated, I think, in a conversation with somebody who uh, said that she never reread because there were so many books that you should, should read that she didn't think there was time for both. And of course, there isn't time for both. And of course, I too am concerned with the books I, I haven't read. But, and I decided to write a book to try to uh, argue the case for rereading uh, as opposed to reading all the things you ha haven't read. And uh, I ended, ended up with a rather complicated and extensive argument, and uh, I feel good about it. that I like to reread um, and read are British historical novels that come in series so I don't have to stop and just start rereading and just keep rereading until I get bored uh, which doesn't happen fast. The book I read most and continue to read most is a is a children's book called When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit. It's not a very well-known book um, but really the reason I keep coming back to it even now is that I remember the first time I read it, it was one o'clock in the morning, I was reading it in my parents' kitchen during Lent with a big plate of hot cross buns and it just was such a warm, comforting atmosphere and that, and every time I pick up the book I'm reminded of that. It's, uh, it's a different way of reading from the kind of reading you do the uh, first time through and it's a way of reading that sets up a relationship not only between you and an author, as all reading, reading does, but between you and your past selves and um, the kinds of discovery that you come up with about your past selves are one of the justifications for rereading. I first read Middlemarch when I was 16 and I've read it roughly every eight or ten years since then until last week when I'm almost 55. And surprisingly enough, or maybe not surprisingly, at every point of reading this book at different phases of my life, I see a whole different story coming out, almost as if a spotlight is shining on a different part of a crowded stage. And each time I read it, I think, well, how could I have missed that before? The book that I read, uh, reread most frequently is The Yearling. Um, which is one of my favorite novels in the world. Um, and the great thing about rereading is that you can kind of be a little selective. I mean, obviously I read the thing in its entirety at one point, but now when I reread it, I usually read up until the last two chapters and then I put it away because, um, spoiler alert, it's, it's, it, it doesn't end well. Perhaps the most important thing I, I discovered was how vital the life of books had been to me. It seems that I shouldn't need uh, writing such a book to tell me that since I've devoted my entire professional life to uh, books. But rereading some of the books that had been important to me uh, in my youth and that re remain important to me made me realize how completely I've been formed by the books that I've read and reread. The book that I reread the most um, ever since I was about nine years old is Dolaire's Greek Myth, with, which is a children's book of Greek mythology, um, and it has these uh, color lithographs throughout it, and it's really long and it's pretty dense, and it tries to cover all of Greek mythology, but for kids, like oriented for kids. And um, it was just my favorite book when I was a kid, and there's so much to it, and it's also, like it has an index, and it's actually really inconsistent, so it was always my favorite game to go through it and find, you know, things that were inconsistent in the book or, you know, what do they mean? Or who is this person who keeps reappearing in all these different myths? Uh, and I still reread it now and sometimes, you know, like I'll compare the low classical library to Dolores Greek myths and it's really one of my favorite books. And the book I most reread is Little Women and um, perhaps I reread that most because I am one of those fortunate people who can lose herself in a book. And when I was a little girl, that was the first book I lost myself in. And so not only is it engaging over the course of a life to revisit a story again and people again and see how you respond to them, but I also, I think, revisit my own self, my own little girl, and um, 
there's something funny and also comforting in that. So I like that too. Uh, after I left home, my parents moved and their new place has this one room attic. Uh, my mom calls it the garret and that's where she's put all of the picture books that my sister and I had when we were young and stuffed animals and toys. And sometimes I have to sleep up there when I visit them. And usually I'll make a stack of all these books um, that I've forgotten about and uh, I'll find the ones that I remember most fondly or that I want to reread. And um, they're great books, like uh, The Three Robbers and um, The Pizza Pie Slugger and Anatole. Uh, it's really comforting, you know, to, um, to reread this, this pile of familiar books when you're locked in a garret surrounded by these disintegrating old stuffed animals. I would be very happy if uh, readers were stimulated by the book to think of their own uh, ideas about rereading and about books that they reread, uh, even, even if or possibly especially if they were quite different from mine.